Welcome to crocheting with Preziosa. For this, we will need a small crochet hook, a flexible or elastic string, and of course some Preziosa traditional check beads. Today, we are going to make this whimsical necklace, as well as these matching earrings, and this bracelet. We will also show you how to make this heart decoration. This is the crocheted heart, the necklace, the matching bracelet, and earrings. Okay, let's start. We have already strung the beads on the elastic string. We have approximately one meter, or just over three feet, which should be enough to make the necklace. Now we can start to crochet, and it's quite simple. We take one end and make the first loop. We tighten it a bit, and then we insert our crochet hook and tighten the knot around it. Then after each third bead, we will crochet a stitch. There, we have it. And we make another crochet stitch after three beads. Let's look at the beginning one more time, close up. We take the string, cross it over, and pull through, making a knot and a loop. To be safe, we can even make another one and tighten it well, like this. Now, insert the crochet hook into the loop and tighten the string around it. And we count off three beads. After the first three beads, we crochet, grab the string with our crochet hook and pull it through and tighten. Now three more beads, be careful. Hook it and pull it through. And tighten. It's very simple. We'll just continue in the same way, three beads, a crochet stitch, pull through and tighten. After a few stitches, you'll notice what looks like a small bunch of grapes. This is what the meter-long strand of beads looks like when finished. This is enough for a necklace. If we wanted to make a bracelet, we just have to tie the ends together now. But this is really for our necklace. You can see it's a bit too long for our bracelet. Okay, let's make the necklace. We need metal components. A steel memory wire or choker with a magnetic clasp will work well. We will attach our crocheted beads to this. Take the smaller end of the choker and start to thread it through the crocheted loops. We thread it through each one and move, move it along the choker. We continue in this way until the end. So just thread it through each of the loops individually, like so. And we're almost done. There. Last one. And we pull the wire through. And now we center our crocheted grapes on the wire. Close the clasp, and then we take the string at one of the ends from our crocheted beads and make a knot around the choker so that the beads won't slide on the choker, like so. So we make one knot, you can even make two or three just to be sure. There we go. Just check that it's centered and we'll make a knot at the other end as well. And snip off the ends. And we're finished. That's the necklace. Now let's make some matching earrings. We will need earring findings, 
we are using simple ear wires and a short length of crocheted beads. We simply thread the end of the beads through the ear wire and tie the two ends together in a knot, like so. Tighten it nicely and carefully, there we go. And one more knot. Now we snip off the excess string and we have a lovely little earring. If we take a flexible wire which can be shaped, we can make all kinds of shapes. Here as an example we made this heart decoration. But you can make much more using this technique. Look at the following photos of inspiring creations. They are elegant and fashionable, and they all use a variety of color and shape combination of beads and seed beads from the Preziosa traditional Czech beads collection. Sign up for our YouTube channel or browse through our web pages at preziosa-ornella.com where you will find even more crocheting projects. Or follow us on Facebook. Happy beading and crocheting!